Don't blame other people for, your, for the team's failures. You all have responsibility for that team. If your team is shit, you need to lead. And when you can do that, then you are a leader. Tom Ping, love what you're doing on your channel, buddy. Super congrats, you know, giving your time and energy to nonprofit business channel. Look, man, keep driving that audience. So Tom Ping, look forward to spending some time with you. I know you got the right mindset, so I'd love for you to share some of that from the big V. God bless, be great, to next. If you don't answer my questions, if your team sucks, when your team sucks, it's not other people's fault. It's 100% your fault. If your team sucks, it's your fault. Because why didn't you do it? Don't, don't look around and blame other people. He didn't do this. She didn't do this. Why didn't you do it? Why didn't you lead it? Don't, you don't do it. Set the example. You do it first. So set the example and other people follow. Everybody understand me, right? Don't blame other people for, your, for the team's failure. You all have responsibility for that team. If your team is shit, you need to lead. And when you can do that, then you are a leader. So we appoint someone to be the leader here, but that person may not actually be the leader. Yeah. That's only leader by name, by appointment. Well, we appoint you, you're the leader. But it depends on what you do. Huh? If you do nothing and just blame everybody else, then you're not a leader. The true leader will look at the team and step up. So when the team cannot do it, the true leader will step up and lead the team to do it. It doesn't matter who we appoint as the leader. The true leader will always rise. So today we're going to see who's the real leaders here.